The Most Terrifying Carnivorous Plants They are portrayed in movies as terrifying plants. But in real life, the horrific way they use to kill is not less than that. Some even eat flesh. Would you like to know which ones they are? Cape Sundew This plant has tentacle-like leaves which are a true hell for those who land on them. Each one is covered with plant hairs called trichomes that secrete a visually attractive substance to insects, but actually that is a sticky liquid that will bring horrible death to them. Mm. Once the insect falls right into the Cape Sundew's trap, its extremely sensitive glands react immediately to hold the body of its victim that is desperately struggling to release. Then the plant wraps the prey with its branch as if it were a boa constrictor. That's when the enzymes begin the process of digestion, eating the insect that is still alive and making it go through a slow and terrible agony. The Cape Sundew grows naturally in the Cape, South Africa, but you can also make it grow in your garden since it's easy to cultivate. Bugs will go into a panic around it. Hey, before continuing with the list, do you know which carnivorous plant was the inspiration for this famous character in Super Mario Bros.? Stay until the end to find out! Cobra Lily Named after its resemblance to an erect cobra's body, the cobra lily plant takes advantage of its particular shape to lead its prey right to certain death. Like this innocent fly that will never leave there. Insects get into the hood lured by its delicious nectar. Once inside, the prey mistakes the way out for those translucent windows that let in the light and tries to escape through them over and over again, but it's useless? Those are fake openings on the cobra lily cell wall. Finally, the victim is worn out from fighting, so it slides down the tubular leaves where it is trapped at the mercy of bacteria that will break down its matter so that the plant gets fed. A horrible death. Frightening! The cobra lily is native to California and Oregon, where it grows in swamps so it's hard to cultivate. Albany Pitcher Plant Can you imagine dying inside of a plant that dissolves you alive with its gastric juices? Well, that's what happens to the Albany Pitcher Plant's victims. This carnivorous plant forms pitfall traps with digestive fluids inside. These wells of death also have a spiked opening specifically designed to make the unfortunate ones who place in there slid and can't get out. Oh no, poor centipede. It was looking for nectar in the wrong place. Once prey is inside, the plant puts its lid back to prevent rainfall from getting in and the enzymes begin the feast. The Albany pitcher plant is cultivated worldwide, but it is found naturally in the southwest of Australia, where it grows close to the ground so it usually feeds on ants. Greater Bladderwort This plant becomes a terror underwater. The Greater Bladderwort is a carnivorous plant that feeds on small aquatic invertebrates using a terrifying method. It sucks its victims in. Don't be fooled by its pretty yellow flowers on the surface, there are a lot of bladder-like traps underneath. When an insect touches one of these traps, it opens and makes a sucking movement, bringing the prey with it. Creepy. <laughs> the most impressive thing is that everything happens within milliseconds, because the greater bladderwort is not only terrifying, but also the fastest predator in the plant kingdom? After sucking the nutrients of the insect through its enzymes, the plant pumps the water out of it and restores the cycle. Its natural habitat is the rivers and lakes of Asia and Europe, but it is also used in aquariums to get rid of bugs. Pinguicula moranensis It seems harmless, but it is quite heartless, at least to insects. The Pinguicula moranensis's appearance deceives its victims because, at first sight, it looks like a plant covered with innocent raindrops, but they're actually mucilaginous glands, which are why the hapless one that comes for water gets attached. By touching the insect, these ones release a greater amount of sticky substances immediately, so when the poor victim fights for its life, it gets more and more trapped. Finally, the enzymes break down the prey and get the part they need, so those you see here are actually empty bodies. The Pinguicula moranensis is native to Mexico and Guatemala, but it is so popular that it grows in several places around the world. 
yellow pitcher plant. The yellow pitcher plant is in the shape of a trumpet, and I'm sure it is one of the seven trumpets of Revelation which is seen by insects at the end of their lives. The plant doesn't even have to move to catch its prey, because its attractive color, scent, and nectar secretions make the prey come to their terrible fate by themselves. That is diabolical! <laughs> As the insects want to taste such delicacy, they place on the edge of the leaves, which have waxy portions exclusively to make them slip down and get into the depths of the long vertical tube. That's where the terror begins. The insect tries desperately to climb the walls and escape, but they are covered with ultra-fine hairs pointing down, so it's impossible to get out. Exhausted enough, the victim can only wait for being killed by the digestive enzymes to nourish the plant. Nepenthes Raja If you thought that giant carnivorous plants were just a movie thing, you're wrong. The Nepenthes Raja is one of the biggest so far. It grows up to 19.7 feet long. Oh, nonsense. No, oh, it's true. As is known among plants of its genus, it forms urn-shaped traps to catch its victims. Those are such big traps that even your hand could fit in there. Just like other carnivorous plants, the Nepenthes Raja lures its victim by nectar secretions, sweet scent, and pleasing colors. The difference is that once the victim falls into the well, it dies from drowning due to a mixture of water collected from rainfalls and the digestive fluids of the plant. But you don't think that it only catches insects, because vertebrates and even mammals also get trapped, meaning this plant is literally carnivorous. The Nepenthes Raja is endemic to Malaysian Borneo, where it grows in hills. Waterwheel Plant not even underwater insects are safe, especially when there is a waterwheel plant near. In the same way as the greater bladderwort, this plant hunts invertebrates using bladders, but implementing a different trap mechanism, it shuts its victims in by folding its lobes. The insects going around the waterwheel plant doesn't have any chance since its sensitive hairs will set off the trap at the slightest touch. Did you miss it? That happens because this plant acts within milliseconds. Wait, I'll play it in slow motion. Horrific, isn't it? I'm panicking! Well, the unlucky creature thinks so at least. The waterwheel plant grows naturally in most parts of the world because it's found in the lakes of Africa, Asia, and Australia. Pimpernel Sundew When you see the Pimpernel Sundew, you may think that it is another carnivorous plant with sticky trap. Wrong! This plant uses a complex attack mechanism that was also used in warfare. Right, in addition to its mucilage trap, the Pimpernel Sundew uses a catapult system to lift insects from the ground and launch them right towards the center of its leaf, the scene of their horrible death. Due to the fact that this plant grows close to the ground, it has no choice but to enjoy the snacks within reach. So all it needs is to feel one of its neighbors to pass by and touch its tentacles to BAM! Dinner is ready! The amazing part is that the whole process took only 75 milliseconds, four times as fast as you can blink. An effective delivery service, isn't it? This plant grows in Australia, but if you're careful enough, it may easily grow in your flower pot. And now, what you were waiting for, piranha plant is inspired by none other than the carnivorous plant, Venus flytrap. I cannot fail to mention the most famous carnivorous plant, the scary Venus flytrap. Take it easy, that was fiction. This plant implements a very sophisticated trapping mechanism that is about a leaf split into two lobs that shut to catch its prey by crushing it until it dies. To perform this sinister procedure, the Venus flytrap first makes sure to have a worthwhile snack. Its trigger hairs are able to detect the prey at the slightest touch, but it waits for another to occur within the next 20 seconds to set off the trap. In this way, the Venus flytrap doesn't waste energy for pleasure. This plant sometimes takes its role as carnivorous very seriously, since it can even catch toads or other things. However, its favorite dish is the flies. The Venus flytrap has become popular as a house plant, but it grows naturally in North Carolina and South Carolina in the United States. Bonus: Roridula This plant is not properly carnivorous since it doesn't digest its victims by itself, 
but its way to kill is so terrifying that it's been included in this part. After trapping its prey, the Roridula uses insects like the Pameridia roridulae or the Pameridia marlothi to stab the prey with their stingers until it weakens and they devour it. You may wonder, where does the food for this plant come from? Well, that is the excrement left by the insect. All of these carnivorous plants are so ruthless with their victims that I don't know if I will get to sleep today. Which one did you find the most terrifying? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And if you want to see other predators in action, watch this and this video.